Hey, what's going on, tech fans? Back here once again, NAM 2014 with Dan from Gibson. You guys all know Gibson in 2014. They came out with some new models, and we're going to show those to you right now. So, how's it going, Dan? That's going great. You know, we're packed, packed like sardines. Yeah, we've you know we've completely revamped our 2014 USA division lineup. We got some new stuff from Memphis, Montana, uh, custom Epiphone, and uh, we're really showcasing our new 2014 USA lineup, which is right behind us. A lot of them behind us too. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about this SG that you have in your hand right now. Well, this is one of our new products. This is the SG Futura. Uh, it's a you know new guitar we came out with this year. Uh, it's your you know typical SG body shape. It's got a couple new features. We have a new uh, Sidewinder P90, which is kind of a humbucker on its side. It gives you a nice P90 sound, but you you know it's also noiseless and you can tap the coil as well. So you know, oh, wow. kind of cut down the output a little bit. So oh, coil tapping. Pulls. Oh, wow. All right. And uh, we also included an active 15 dB boost. So you just click it and you get a boost up instantly? Yep. yep. Sets it at 15 decibels. Battery pack is in the back right here. Does so that work like really good for like when you're going to play your lead? You click it and all of a sudden you get a boost without a pedal? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it, can add, it adds up to 15 decibels worth of gain, which is cool. And then and what's the E tune? You're seeing this thing automatically tune yeah, itself? Uh, it's, even? A, it's a new standard feature in a lot of our USA products this year. We've got the mini tune. Uh, you know, we, we debuted it last year as an option. And it comes standard now on a couple of our uh, couple of our new USA pieces. So, how many different types of, of tuning can you actually get on it? Though we have twelve individual factory presets, and uh, you can make six of your own. So, we have six user programmable presets, which are great. Rock on! Yeah, it's it's super efficient too. Let's get it over here. You just turn it on. You strum all the strings at once, and the tuners move by themselves. It just takes a couple seconds to tune up. Once they turn all green, the unit shuts off. And you're ready to go. Wow. And so, how much is this guitar selling for? Like, if I went to a guitar center or a Sam Ash or someplace right there? These street out about uh, 1049 with a hard shell case. And we also have a Les Paul variant uh, called the Les Paul Future. Les Paul Future. <laughs> right? Shocking, right? But uh, yeah, those go for 1149. Um, yeah, we got a couple new finishes. This is one of I our, see a uh, lot of the finishes back here yeah. are really nice. It's like an Inverness green fade. It gets a little dark around the edges. Uh, we have a, a blue and a red, which are sort of translucent. So on the Les Pauls, you get a double A flame maple top on that. It's awesome. It looks great. Right on. Well, yeah. show us some more. All right, guys. Now we're going to take a look at something called the Les Paul piece. Now, what's up with this one, man? It's kind of a throwback to the 60s with a, some new technology. 60s neck? Yep, 60s slim taper neck. Also has mini tune featured standard. It's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it says mini tune on our truss rod cover, so if it's ever in question, look on the truss rod. Hey, you know what it is, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we have a little bit of a, a retro vibe here. We have a tie dye toggle switch. Oh, wow, uh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah, we got our new 63 humbuckers, which oh, wow. are. Uh, how are, they, how are they compared like a 57 or a burst bucker? Uh, they're a little, a little bit hotter than a 57, a little bit brighter. Uh, oh, wow. Not as bright as a burst bucker, but, you know, it's kind of a nice... So it's nice pretty trebly and right in between there? Yeah, and, uh, you know, we, we put these in a couple other guitars, too, in our LPJ, which is one of our most affordable Les Pauls. So, you know, if, if you uh, want to get rid of some of the frills, you know, we also have it as an option somewhere else. Um, Basically a budget for me. Oh, and the, and the yeah. cool and the cool piece knobs. There we go. Yeah, we also machined the piece... Oh, wow. It's piece sign tail studs and it says piece on here. It comes in a hemp case with a tie-dye interior. So, yeah. It's really that. interesting. I really like, really like the top. Now, is this considered, this considered sunburst? Uh, yeah, this is a different kind of sunburst. This is uh, um, Harmonious Sunset, I believe is the name of the... Harmonious? Yeah, yeah. They're all kind of a 60s groovy kind of theme. You know, we have Mellow Out Green right there. I'm digging it. Tranquility Blue. Yeah. A lot of different colors just all around the wall. Now... How many different models altogether are there of the E-Tune ones? Well, we offer it in the LPM, the SGM, um, the Futuras, both SG and Les Paul. We also do a uh, Les Paul Signature, the Les Paul Piece, and the uh, our base level Les Paul Standard, which is uh, right here. And then so uh, Sony E-Tune I see as well? Yep, yep. and then uh, the SG Standard also has Mini Tune too. So, right on. These are all looking so well. I want you to just own them all. We got a lot of great new colors this year. You know, we have the ocean blue perimeter, which I think is absolutely beautiful. That's really beautiful. Been, I like that. It's been a knockout for the past um, couple. You of guys had this color though, but a few years back, but it was on the custom only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, we decided to kind of diversify a lot of our bursts and a lot of the blues and greens and stuff this year. Give people a little bit more options. Now, is this considered? Triple A or quadruple A? Okay, we actually changed it up a little bit. So on the less the regular Les Paul standard, uh, the, which like features this. mini tune, we upgraded the top uh, for a, a, a street 
increase of uh, 100 bucks. So you went from double A AA to triple A. And then on this one right here. Yep. We went from triple A to quad A. And then we have the premium, which went from either a double A quilt or a quad A flame. Yeah, this is, what, this, is, this is what he bought me for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's now a triple A quilt, which is beautiful. And on the premium, uh, whoever book matched the top in our factory signed the back plate. Which oh, is wow. awesome. Very cool. I liked it when they had the premium and they had the clear back plates. So you could see through it. That was yeah, really nice. Yeah, we did nice. that in our 2008 standards. It was, uh, it was cool. You know, we want to make it a little bit more you know, opaque and stuff, but it's, yeah, I mean, people really dig it. So basically, you guys are looking at having like a really great year this year with stuff. Yeah, I think it's going to be a huge success. You know, uh, we, we showed a lot of guitars at CES and it was really, uh, it went over really well. Everybody seemed to be really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, but the only thing is at CES, you guys were charging for people to get in. It's a, the big tent outside. There was a charge to get in. Where the where the where the, where the car with Doctor Brown's car was? We didn't charge anybody? Really? No, no. We didn't huh. charge anybody at all. I think they were charging at the door for that. I saw the booth. And I wanted to go see it. I saw Doc Brown's car and everything. I was like, oh. Man. I mean, it would have been nice. Like I, I could tell people we were charging. It's like, yeah, you got five bucks to get in. Some beer money for the Gibson guys, right? Exactly, man. It's Vegas. It's <laughs> right not on. a cheap place. So, is there more? Oh, there's a there's a ton. All right. Well, let's keep going and see yeah, more. Yeah. All right, guys, so now we're going to take a look at a guitar that Gibson considers their creme de la creme of the guitars. And, man, he's going to tell us more about this than you guys can see. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is our new uh, 2014 Supreme. You know, for anybody who remembers the Les Paul Supreme from, you know, the past few years, uh, we've really kind of changed it up a little bit. Suit and tie guitar. Suit and Absolutely. tie. Absolutely. Yeah, this is... Uh, Gold hardware all the way around. Yeah, this is for when you've reached baller status, right? So, it, you know, obviously the biggest thing is, you know, it's a semi-hollow guitar now. We have bound F holes here, you know, quad A top, triple A back, you know, double bound, five ply, you know, custom style binding. Uh, you have a 498T in the bridge, and we also have this floating Johnny Smith style mini humbucker. Now, did you guys design this pickup yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all of our pickups that we use are, are you know, 100% in-house, uh, with the exception of, obviously, you know, some artist models that might have Seymour Duncans, or, you know, we had the Bill Kelleher last year that had lace sensors. Exactly. So, you know, if an artist wants something else, but so, know, I think our pickups are pretty good as they are. This guitar, like, what's the starting price on one of these things? These are, like, in the, the 49 range? Yeah, these street at about forty eight ninety nine. So, if you got 5000 bucks and you want something totally bitching, like you said, when you can have this guitar, that means you're a baller. So I guess I'm not a baller because I only own, you know, yeah, this some Bless Ball Customs. Yeah, this is one of the few guitars, too, that has ebony. Uh, you know, ebony's getting harder and harder to get. And uh, we're putting on our, some, you know, some of our higher Ebony highest and ivory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Michael. So how many different colors does this particular model come in? Uh, the only ones I've seen it in because, we, you know, we just released it are uh, uh, the Heritage Sherry Sunburst. And we also have a seafoam green over here. Which looks really good. We're going to see some seafoam green here, folks. Hold on. And what's cool is the seafoam has a natural side set. Which oh, that great. is just, that is but really just, nice. Yeah. Check that out, folks. Incredible finish. Really nice gold tone hardware. Cuts make it look so elegant. I think this is a really beautiful guitar. Me personally, if I was going to choose between the previous one and this one, this one would be on my shelf any day of the week. I just think it's absolutely beautiful, Dan. Yeah, it's a great way to uh, to get into our 120th anniversary. You know? Damn, that is just so awesome. What's this one right here that has three pickups in it? This is another Supreme. Uh, we've got a similar body. The only difference is, you know, obviously it's a chambered guitar, and we have three humbuckers full size as opposed to the you know the single and the, the mini. But um, yeah, this is a new. Basically a new skew. I've never seen one with three pickups before. This is the first time I've seen it. You know. Now, this is also and, Supreme, though, isn't it? Yes, this is. Yeah. Uh, this is, this will be a little bit more affordable. It's going to have a rich light fingerboard, which is what we've been using in place of, of you know ebony because again ebony is getting, getting harder very, and harder, very harder, harder to get come by. Yeah. And you guys also didn't you guys do something with the nut too? Were you guys make a nut now? It's supposed to be like really semi close to bone. We're using graphite right now, or Graftech rather, the company Graftech. Uh, you know, and they they're basically a self lubricating nut. So a <laughs> self lubricating nut. <laughs> It mitigates gotta, gotta, a lot. Gotta love the, that. Yeah, it mitigates a lot of the you know the problems of getting hung up on the you know on the brake and stuff. So it works out really well and it helps the guitar stay in tune a lot better. Uh, you know the the quality of the stuff we're putting out now is 
you know, it just gets better and better every year. Have you guys ever thought about like working with like Evertune, a company that makes like the, the Evertune bridge, that, like the guitar when you Evertune never have to tune your guitar again? Have you ever heard of that product? I haven't, no. It's... If you get a chance, you should check it out. Evertune makes a product where once you install it, you never have to tune the guitar ever again. It's pretty incredible. They're working with a lot of companies and it'd be great to see them on a Gibson guitar. Very cool. They're on my Gibson guitars. I'll have to check them out. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah. All right, folks. So now we have something that's really beautiful. This is their new J15 guitar. This thing's supposed to sound and look incredible. And this is it. So tell us just more about this new guitar. Well, this is just kind of this just came out of the uh, the Montana division, uh, which is where we make all of our acoustic guitars. This is the J15. Not Hannah, Mon Montana, right? No, no, Bozeman. Uh, okay. Hannah, Montana. We we didn't want a lawsuit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but this is great. You know. Um, it's the most affordable Montana piece we've really ever put out, and the great thing is that this is all 100% North American tone woods that are used. You know, you've got a, uh, a walnut back inside, which looks great. You know, it's kind oh, of it's similar beautiful to all the way around, a yeah. Bit. Um, Sitka spruce and a uh, eastern maple neck, three piece with a, a walnut stripe going down the center. And what's like the entry price on these ones coming out, Dan? These go for $14.99, and uh, you know, generally it's it's kind of hard to get a uh, Montana High quality guitar for under two thousand dollars, but in the past couple of years we've we've released some more affordable models that don't really skimp out on features either. This is, has a, an LR bags element, you know, ele electric pickup in it, so you can plug it right in, great for a gig. And uh, you know, for fifteen hundred bucks, I don't think there's a better guitar out there on the market that really, you know, even comes close to this. Right on, that's going to be great because acoustics are, are just the easiest, man. Yeah. Play them anywhere you want, take you know, them anywhere and, you want. And with that resurgence in like Americana and you know, you know, folk and and uh, you know, kind of roots music, you know, acoustic music is getting much, much, much bigger. It's every coming year. back again, yeah. Absolutely. So right on. All right, well, Dan, thank you cool. so much for your time. Oh, my pleasure. Man. We appreciate you doing it. Yeah, thanks for checking it out, folks. We'll see you guys for more videos here at 2014 NAM.